What up, Mark? Um, I think you're saying, uh, in my opinion, Ravens fans need to look at Cam Newton and realize that is Lamar Jackson's future. I'm actually going to disagree because I think both of those quarterbacks are very different. Lamar is a much better passer than Newton ever was. Newton was not a very good passer. And sure, Newton had a one really good MVP season, but Newton was more of a bruiser in terms of overall his ability to run. Lamar Jackson is the greatest mobile quarterback the NFL has ever seen. Two very different styles of runners. Jackson is good in the open field. Newton's better in the red zone. So I'm going to disagree, though teams are starting to figure out Lamar a little bit, and he does need to be better as a passer. From Jimmy John, should we be worried about Lamar Jackson? Yes and no. Uh, that game on Monday Night Football, he was bad. <laughs> like, Lamar did not play well, and like Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes, and others this year, his interception numbers are way up. And I am still a believer in Lamar Jackson. He is a quarterback you can win with and win because of. There are some frustrating moments. I want him to become a better passer, but he is a franchise quarterback, I believe. And you have to factor in the running ability. He's been so dynamic on the ground for his entire NFL career. He's having his worst year on the ground with... 5.7 yards per carry. So I'm not worried about Lamar, the, the player. I'm curious what that contract looks like, though, since he's his own agent. That doesn't always work out very well for the player. So I want you guys right now to rank Lamar for me among NFL quarterbacks. He's not one. Is he 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12? Where is he among NFL QBs? Be honest with me in the comments section. Let's go to seemingly unconnected sus. Who will get left out of the AFC playoff picture? Well, we'll pull up the AFC playoff picture here. I mean, there's going to be some teams in the mix. If I were to give you guys my honest to truth playoff, how I think it's going to end up going, the Ravens are going to make it. I see the Patriots making it, the Titans making it, the Chiefs making it, the Bengals will make it, the Bills will make it. It really comes down to that final spot. I think it's really a toss-up between the Chargers I could see, the Raiders I could see, the Colts are definitely a sneaky team, the Browns are a sneaky team. As much as it kills me to say, I would put my money on Indianapolis because they've been playing very, very good football as it stands. Though, the winner of Raiders-Colts in Week 17, that's who's going to get that number 7 seed. Well, the Rams, some people might have said a few weeks ago, were the best team in football, but... Shout out to the Rams and Matthew Stafford. They did no win November. Very impressive. But let me know down in the comments section right now, who is the best team in the NFL as it stands right now? Is it the Green Bay Packers, Baltimore Ravens, Arizona Cardinals, New England Patriots, Tennessee Titans? Let me know. I'm going to be looking down in the comments. Now, December 1st is the day that we're filming this video, so please keep that in mind. But it's the holidays, man, so whether you're celebrating Hanukkah, whether you just, I don't know, you got something coming up for Christmas, you don't know what to get somebody, what do you guys want for Christmas? Let me know down in the comment section. Obviously, we get a lot of NFL gear, like people are like, oh, I want this guy's jersey, or oh, I want the, this team to make the playoffs. Be serious with me. Do you want... Do you want tickets to a game? Do you want a new sweatshirt, shoes, an Xbox, PS5? I don't know, something that vibrates. Let me know. What do you want for Christmas? I'm going to be looking and see what you got. The greatness of the Raiders, a super chat. What are the GM hot seat rankings? Number one, Dave Gettleman. He gone. Number two, Ryan Pace of the Chicago Bears. Number three, uh, Mike Mayock? Of the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, number four, Rick Spielman of the Vikings. And number five, I will go with Trent Baalke of the Jags. I'm sure I missed somebody, but that's my top five. Now, if you want to bet on who you think is going to be going to the Super Bowl, going to the playoffs, or you can just bet on NFL Week 13 games, we got the number one deal on the internet. That's not a brag. That's just me telling y'all the truth. Head on over to chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code NFL Daily. It's going to get you 125% deposit bonus. Imagine a world where you put down $100, you get $125 for free to bet with. You ever go to a store and you see buy one, get one free? That's a good deal. This is even better than that. Imagine going to a pizza store, 
You get a slice, you get a whole pizza pie. They give you an extra pizza pie for free, and then they give you an extra two slices. That's how good of a deal this is. You can also be a big baller, put down $500, get $625 for free to bet with. All you got to do, go to chatsports.com slash bet. But if you don't use the promo code, I can't really help you out. If you're wondering what some bets that I'm making this week, I'm going to take the Rams minus 13 up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think they have a bounce back game. They, they definitely need to. They've been on a 30-game skid. Miami and the Giants, give me the under. Mike Glennon's going to be the starting quarterback. And the Dolphins' defense has been really, really legit. In fact, they haven't given up more than 17 points, I believe, since like the middle of October. The Raiders minus 2.5 up against Washington. Eagles minus 6.5 at the Jets. And then Buffalo, New England, give me the over because life's too short to bet the under, though. I'm doing it here one more time, y'all. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code NFL Daily. Christian, you're next up here on NFL Daily. Make sure you guys remember, use hashtag NFL or you can super chat. What's wrong with Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts, Jamar Chase? I don't know if you have these guys in your fantasy team. It's a very random order you got going on. In terms of Lamar Jackson, I really think it comes down to teams getting more film on his strengths and his weaknesses. He's got 15 touchdowns this season, 12 interceptions. The year before that, I think he had 26 touchdowns, 9 picks. And then the year before that, he had 36 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. Lamar's still a good quarterback, but the offense needs to be a little bit better, I think, in being more creative. Jalen Hurts, he's just injured, and he's got a he's not a good passer. He's a hell of a runner. He's got 8 rushing touchdowns, but overall pretty bad uh, passer, and their offensive play calling sucks. And then Jamar Chase... There's a lot of mouths to feed, and there's uh, Joe Burrow's got to be a little bit more consistent. But teams are starting to take away Jamar Chase's deep ball. If you guys are an NFL fan and you want more free videos every single day, damn, are you in the right spot? If you haven't already, subscribe right now for free NFL videos every single day right here on Chat Sports. It is that simple. All you have to do is hit that big red button right now. Let's go to Chug69420. You sound like you like to have a good time. Will the Ravens finish as the number one seed in the AFC? So as it stands right now, the AFC playoff picture is this. The Ravens are the number one seed. They got that 8-3 and three record. The Patriots are nipping at their heels. The Titans are there. The Chiefs are definitely up there in the running as well. I'm going to still go ahead and say yes. I see the Ravens finishing as the number one seed. When I break down their schedule... I actually have them coming out with a 12-5 and five record, which I do believe is going to be the best record in the AFC. The Patriots got to play Buffalo two times. I don't see them beating them both, uh, or twice, I guess would probably be the proper way to say it. I also don't see Kansas City winning every single game from here on out. And remember, Baltimore has the tiebreaker over the Chiefs. So yes, I have the Ravens being the number one seed at the end of the year in the AFC. Brady is the GOAT of GOATs, the burner account of producer Jack. Will Tom Brady have nine or ten Super Bowl rings? At some point, Tom Brady will stop winning everything. Uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. He's won every other year pretty much since 2015. So probably not this year. Maybe next year he'll get another ring. Um, I don't want to ever bet against Brady. I think I'll take the under ten, though.